This is my review of the Shimoda Roller version 2. Howdy folks, in this video I'm going to review the Shimoda Roller version 2. That, that's, that's this thing right here. And the first question that I had is why in the world do we have another kind of camera bag? And for a long time, I couldn't figure out how this really fit into everything. And I've got the Shimoda Action X50, which is great. I travel with it. It's great. It fits in the overhead bins. It does everything that you need it to do as far as travel goes. But there are straps everywhere. It's annoying uh, when you're trying to set it down, pick it up. And let's face it, travel is awful. It just plain sucks. Travel is terrible. So anything you can do to make your travel a little bit better, it's probably going to be worth it. And the Action X50, it's got the straps and the buckles and everything everywhere, and you're taking it on, putting it down, picking it up, moving it around. It's kind of annoying. So when they first came out with this, the version one, I never picked up on it. I just dealt with what I had. And then I got older and traveled more, and it became more just a nuisance to have that back, back straps and buckles and everything everywhere. So I started looking at the version two as an option. I reached out to Ian Miller, who is the creator of Shimoda, and I asked him some questions because I saw some differences between the Roller version 1 and the Roller version 2, and he explained why some things changed. In the version 1, you had zippers down through here where you could expand the top of this to fit more, but he said uh, people tended to fit a lot more than they needed to in there. It was supposed to be just to give them a little extra space if they needed it, so they had to remove it because people were doing what people do and adding much more than it was ever intended to add. So the version 2 doesn't have that. That's the only difference that I really see between the version 1 and version 2 as far as what they removed. But they added a few extra things that I like in the version 2 that the first one didn't have. And here on the back, you've got this extra little rubber piece for protection as you're pulling it along. And it does have a little handle here that locks in two different places so you can push and pull as you need to. It's got big wheels on the outside, make it roll real easy. And then on the sides, you've got pouches. They say you can put tripods down in here, small travel tripods, but that's not something I've experienced because I don't travel with small tripods, I travel with large ones. And what you can do is you've got these, uh, I guess, little tabs right here. You can add their straps to it, and you could put a tripod on the front and strap it down real good. If you decide you want to carry on your tripod, that's no problem at all. So now the way this actually works, it, it, it does everything you want it to. It rolls. It's super nice. But what about the camera gear that you want to put in it? Nice big handle here, by the way, which makes it easy to move around. You've got nice big zipper handles that open up, and this opens up like a doctor bag. Nice, straight, nothing folds out. It keeps everything nice and tidy. But on the inside, what do you have? Absolutely nothing. It's nice, open, cavernous. You can shove whatever you want to in there even if it's not camera gear. But what this is designed for, it's designed for their core units. So I have the Action X50, the large DSLR core unit, and you take it out of that bag, and then you just drop it in here. Then you can take your bag that has all those buckles and snaps and everything on it, flatten it down, put it in your check luggage, and when you get to the location, you take it out, and you put it in the bag, and you're ready to go. So what does this do for you, though, that you can't do with the other? It just makes it super convenient. So you put it all in here, you zip it up, it's nice, compact, fits anywhere you need it to fit, and you can roll it around nice and easy all day long, and you're not having to carry it on your back, and there's not all these buckles and everything around. So I like that aspect of these. My biggest question that I had, and the main reason that I emailed Ian to begin with, was what about a laptop? So how can you possibly get a laptop in this if there's no laptop sleeve? Well, the answer was pretty simple, actually. You 
put in the DSLR core unit, and I'll show you that here in just a minute. You put it all in here, and then you get a laptop sleeve, and you put your laptop in it, and it just sets down on top, and it closes up over top of it. Now, that's with a MacBook 16 inch, a MacBook Pro 16 inch, that fits in here perfectly. It is tight, but it fits in here perfectly, and you don't feel like you're doing anything to damage your equipment. And I like that because now I can carry my laptop and all of my camera gear in something that's convenient and easy to roll around and it fits in the overhead bin of pretty much any airline. I don't know how it would be in one of those little tiny ones with the props, but for anything international, jet-wise, anything like that, it's going to be just fine. I've not traveled on one of the small ones, so I can't really attest to whether or not it fits. But from looking at it, it absolutely fits everything, every dimension for a carry-on that you can think of. So I think this is a wonderful solution if you're looking for a way to minimize the annoyance of travel. And if you'll give me just a second, I'll show you how all of that works. All right, let me show you how this works. So here I have my Shimoda Action X50. You can see all the buckles and straps and everything and how they can be annoying if you're trying to travel all day long, have to deal with it. This just makes it more convenient. We're gonna open it up and inside here I have my large DSLR camera core unit. And I'm gonna pull that out right now and show you how it works and how easy it is. So it just slides right out, slides right in. And that's it. And now I'm gonna show you how it works with a laptop. We don't need this anymore. So we'll just, you know, there we go. Here is the 16 inch MacBook Pro laptop in a nice thick padded case. You can get smaller, thinner cases if you want. Makes it maybe fit a little bit easier, but I wanted a little extra padding for the laptop. So it just slides in there, just like that. Fold it over. And then this particular version, it's gonna be a little tight, but it will fit just fine. And it will do everything you need it to. Again, you can get a little thinner laptop case. Maybe you don't have a 16 inch, maybe it's a little smaller. But either way, it fits and it's nice and pretty and convenient and you can roll it around all day long and not have to carry it on your back and make your travel day a little less annoying. And then when you get to the location, you just reverse what I did. You unzip it, you take it out, you drop it in the Action X50 camera bag and now you've got that with you. The Action X50 camera bag, by the way, will push down and you can put that in your check luggage without any trouble at all. And then you've got the best of both worlds. So you've got an easy travel option that will hold your laptop. And then when you get to the location, you've got your backpack that you can put everything in and it's comfortable and you can walk all day as you need to. Now, there's other use cases for this too. If you're a wedding photographer or you're a portrait photographer, you can have this as a nice doctor style bag that looks really good and sleek. Me, I don't worry about that too much because I don't do much of any of that stuff. But it's kind of neat. It's cool looking. Same ripstop fabric that's on the other bags. And overall, I think it fits a niche. And if you're looking to make your travel a little bit better, check out the Shimoda Roller version two. I do have an affiliate link for Shimoda, and I'll put that in the show notes below. So if you're looking to buy this or anything from Shimoda, you can click that link and it'll take you to the website. It doesn't cost you anything else, and it gives the show a little bit from that sale. But I should also note that I paid for all of this with my own money. None of this is given to me by Shimoda at all. I just happened to set the affiliate link up because every little bit helps. All right. So I hope that this review of the Shimoda Roller version two is what you're looking for. Leave your comments below if it is, and if it isn't, well, you can leave those comments below too. And thanks for sticking around this long. So as always, grab your camera, get off the couch, escape, explore, and create.